What's up, Fluffle Gang? Welcome back, and happy holidays to anyone who celebrates. Today we're exploring the genome soldiers, what they were, were they possible, and also some pretty neat similarities between them, bananas, and the PMCs in MGS4. Fair warning, this video will have spoilers for MGS1, MGS3, and MGS4, so you've been warned. What are genome soldiers? First things first, what even are genome soldiers? The genome soldiers, also known as the Next Generation Special Forces, Genome Army, the Space Seals, or the Sons of Big Boss, specialized in counter-terror they were trained to deal with incidents that involved weapons of mass destruction such as nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. As the genome soldiers were meant to neutralize NBC threats, they were former members of the biochem units, technical escort teams, and the nuclear emergency search team. They were either enhanced with Big Boss's soldier genes, or their nucleotides were realigned to mimic Big Boss's genes to enhance their senses, reflexes, and combat skills. Because they were augmented with Big Boss's genes, and Liquid himself was born with the same genes as he was a clone of Big Boss, Liquid felt these soldiers were his family. The person who headed these experiments was none other than our paramedic from Metal Gear Solid 3. How Dr. Clark went from wanting to create a unit of medics that could parachute into battle, hence our codename, to a focus in genetics is beyond me. Field medical attention and genetic modification are on opposite ends of the spectrum. At any rate, paramedic is the one who headed the genome soldier project and interestingly, the whole thing kicked off with Gray Fox as her first experimentee. After being mortally wounded in Zanzibar land in 1999, He's recovered, and through a combination of cybernetic surgery and gene therapy, he's restored to his former fighting glory. The experiments with Gray Fox laid the groundwork for the Genome Soldiers and for the Sons of the Patriot system in MGS4. We'll get into the Sons of the Patriot system a little later. Because the Genome Soldiers are all created from the same genes from the same man, Big Boss, Liquid considers them all brothers. He also worries about a disease wiping them all out, as because they're clones, if a disease affects one of them, it affects all of them. And with them all working in such close quarters on Shadow Moses Island, a deadly disease would make quick work of them. Liquid explains this when he talks about the asymmetry theory in regards to his clone family and how genetic diversity has a large role in determining whether or not a species can adapt and survive in their environment. Because Liquid and Solid and the Genome Soldiers were all clones of the same man, they were all at risk of being wiped out if a virus came along that their particular immune system couldn't respond to. You know what the Genome Soldiers always make me think of? Bananas. Before bananas were domesticated, they used to have these really big seeds in the middle, which was super unappetizing. People bred these seeds smaller and smaller until we got what we see now, tiny, almost non-existent seeds. Because banana seeds are useless in growing more bananas, banana tree cuttings are taken and planted to produce more banana trees and bananas. This is all fine. In fact, it's great since these cuttings are clones of the original, which means uniform, consistent fruit. What's bad about it is exactly what Liquid fears for his genome soldiers. Because they're all clones, one disease is all it takes to wipe them out. And it's already happened before. Have you ever wondered why banana flavored candy doesn't taste anything like bananas? It's because banana candy is based on the previous iteration of the banana, the Gras Michel. The Gras Michel was said to have been way tastier than today's banana, the Cavendish, and less likely to bruise, but in the 1950s, the Gras Michel was wiped out by a strain of the Panama disease. The Cavendish was bred as a replacement, but because it's bred through the same ways, cuttings from the main plant to create clones, the same thing is predicted to happen to the Cavendish and will need yet another banana replacement. One solution to the banana problem is to develop transgenic bananas resistant to the the diseases that threaten them. Liquid also thought this was the solution to his problems as he wanted to get his hands on Big Boss's body so that he could test him for diseases he's weak to and would then probably take the necessary steps through gene therapy to fortify himself and his genetic family against those diseases. How feasible are the genome soldiers? Could the genome soldiers really exist? What about the genome soldiers exist today in current technology? Currently, gene modification is used mainly to modify genes to improve our understanding of gene function and to treat genetic or acquired diseases. Cancer, cystic fibrosis, and diabetes are all diseases that may be treated in the future by gene therapy. Gene therapy can improve your body's ability to fight these diseases by replacing a faulty gene or by adding a new one. Currently, scientists have already developed Schwarzenegger mice through genetic engineering. These mice were engineered to have increased muscle growth and strength, hence the nickname after the American bodybuilder. The study was conducted as a solution to muscle ailments, such as muscular dystrophy or muscle disease due to aging. But who's to say this technology couldn't be put to use in bulking up soldiers? There are genes that, when deleted or modified, can also increase intelligence in people. The problem with genetic engineering, though, is that it is isn't always as straightforward as selecting the correct gene that corresponds to strength, intelligence, etc. Most traits are complex and involve numerous genes. For example, in the 90s, a group of scientists discovered a gene that corresponds to memory. This gene could be modified to greatly improve learning and memory and was modified to do just that in mice. However, when modified, it also caused an increased sensitivity to pain, which is less than ideal when you're trying to craft a super soldier. There are risks involved in gene therapy as well. You can't directly insert a gene into your cells. Instead, a vector needs to be used to deliver the wanted genes. These vectors are usually viruses that have had their original disease-causing genes removed. 
Viruses can recognize specific cells and carry genetic material into the cell's genes. Using modified viruses, though, can result in an unwanted immune system reaction. The vector could target the wrong cells by accident, as viruses can affect more than one type of cells, and infection can be caused by the virus despite the disease causing genes being removed as the virus may recover its original ability to cause disease. And there's the possibility of the vector causing a tumor if the genes get inserted into the wrong spot in your DNA. When it comes to developing the technology to produce genome soldiers, the technology to create the reverse would be naturally happening right alongside it. So the ability to produce super strength and greatly reduce strength in people would be developed side by side. So feasibly, if genome soldiers exist, then so does the technology to test for their weaknesses. We won't get into the ethical debate behind super soldiers since that's a video on its own and we're dealing in fantasy. Can genome soldiers exist though? No. Although we can pinpoint some of the genes necessary to make super soldiers, like super strength, traits are far too complex and intertangled to separate out easily to modify the genes needed. The Sons of Big Boss and the Sons of the Patriots The Sons of the Patriots were another outcome of the experiments on Gray Fox, and we can see the similarities between them and the genome soldiers in the enhancements added to the soldiers and in the way they're controlled. As mentioned, the genome soldiers had enhanced senses, reflexes, and combat skills. They were united under Liquid through Psychomantis' psychic powers, and when Psychomantis was killed, his brainwashing started to wear off, and the morale of the genome soldiers soldiers started to suffer without it. The Sons of the Patriots was a similar system of control, though instead of psychic powers and genetic enhancements, the soldiers were controlled and enhanced by NANOMACHINES SON. When the system of control was dampened, the nanomachines dampening the emotional distress of the soldiers was also inhibited, which resulted in soldiers losing their minds and even having heart attacks. So that's like losing morale too? Honestly, with Psychomantis controlling the genome soldiers, it makes me wonder if they were following him because they wanted to or because Psychomantis was telling them to. Was he controlling them or just helping to ease any combat pressure the way the nanomachines did for the soldiers under the influence of the Sons of the Patriot system? If they weren't voluntarily supporting Liquid, that's the saddest thing since he was going to such great lengths to try and take care of them. The genome soldiers were meant to be an elite group of super soldiers, crafted from the genes of the legendary soldier Big Boss to serve the military. They also laid the groundwork for what was to come in MGS4 with the Sons of the Patriots. Lastly, they were also Liquid's family. And that's what we have for the Genome Soldiers. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Please like, subscribe, bell. More importantly, please take care of yourselves. And again, if you celebrate the holidays, happy holidays. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.